in this video i will be breaking down everything that will be dropping in nba 2k mobile season 7 all right so let's get so the first thing we're going to talk about is our cover athlete it says a bona fide superstar on a team with championship aspirations we are proud to share that shay gilgis alexander is our cover star for season 7 which arrives well this week <clears throat> so this was definitely very good player choice right here he he is a very good player in the current nba right now all right so yeah this was a very good choice from 2k right here then making it be sga so yeah so here goes the new mode that they will be adding in nba 2k mode c7 which is called rewind it says coming at c7 launch play the action from the previous night in the nba new objectives every day Reproduce best plays and performances via player locked gameplay. Recreate or rewrite history from the biggest games. All right. And here it is. So let's take a look at it. So it says number one, Lillard hits buzzer beater to finish off. Okay. We, we can look at this, right? Okay. All right, here it goes. Let's see. Lower hit that three on the bulls. Okay. Coming soon, yeah. Like now. All right, cool. All right, let's see what else they put up here. Okay, we've got the full scoop on Rewind before it arrives this week. Read for details, top plays and replays, new card types, Rewind points, and leaderboards. Rewards. Ooh, so we're going to have some rewards here. Blog also includes the first look at C7 cards. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah, y'all. Uh... There's a lot of stuff to read here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to read through everything, y'all, but I'm going to read through as much as I can. All right, let's see. Our biggest season launch ever is right around the corner. NBA 2K Mobile CU7 features the introduction of Rewind, a mode that is a brand new way to play the action happening in today's NBA. Rewind will have new objectives and challenges every day based on what transpired the previous night in the association. All of the action, from the marquee matchups to the most memorable plays, will be right at your fingertips. The mode has two key components, top plays and replays. Let's dive into top plays first. Yep, here, here goes them telling us that, that this blog has a lot on it. Okay, so it says, Rewind's daily content will include up to 10 new top plays based on a variety of play types. Some singular actions like buzzer beaters and others based upon based on player stats that could be point scored. Three pointers hit, assists recorded, or triple doubles. These objectives introduce player locked gameplay. You control a single player the entire duration of the top play. Oh, here goes how it looks. And yes, I know that y'all were excited for this one. They have a lob button. All right, this is really good, man. I don't really, I don't do lobs in NBA 2K Mobile just because it was indeed difficult to do. But the fact that they add it as a butt now is really, really good. I really like that. All right, I'm not going to read all of this, y'all. I'm just going to read some of it, okay? So, yeah. Other top plays will be a team-based action like a 10-0 run or multiple players hitting three-pointers. Regardless of the objective type, the numbers required a complete them will be less than the real life ones top plays are meant to be quick anywhere from a handful of seconds for regular for singular plays <clears throat> excuse me to a few minutes for example if a player drops 45 points the objective will be to score five points with him in a short span okay most most of a day's top plays start as locked 
You need to complete the one directly in front of a locked top play in order to unlock it. And then complete and then continue doing so to unlock others. For days with 10 top plays, completing any one of 8 to 10 will unlock number 7. Obje Once objectives are met in top plays, the game ends and you collect your rewards. More on those later. I wonder what the rewards are. Alright, and here's it right here. Number 8, we have Giannis leads all scoring with 30 points. And oh, and look, at that's the objectives right there. Score 5 points and make a dunk. Okay. Okay. Rewind second component, replays, features lengthier challenges based on games from the previous night. Games are 20 minutes, 5 minute quarters, oh snap. Okay. And you can play with the winning or losing team to try and recreate or rewrite history. Respectively, whichever you choose, you'll be tasked with winning by the same margin that happened in real life. Not the actual scores, just the margin. Okay, good. Because I feel like the actual scores will be very difficult. Alright, so... Yeah, so that means... Let's say... So, let's say... So, so, so that means... So, so that means... If the Lakers and the Warriors first face each other, right? And the Warriors beat the Lakers. Just like they did in the preseason. Um, we, we, can, we can use the Lakers... And, and, and beat the Warriors in the game, right? Man, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This These rewind modes sounds really cool. I'm liking it. Each replay will have an additional objective, a player-based one like those in top plays, but with higher numbers of the action required. If playing with the losing team, your objective... <clears throat> if playing with the losing team, your objective is the opposite, limiting a specific player to a certain number of points, for example. During games in both replays and top plays, you will see trackers near the button near the bottom bottom, excuse me, of your screen that lets you monitor progress for each objective. Top plays also features a restart button in the pause menu that you can hit at any time if you feel you're not going to reach an objective. This, I like that. And oh, this one is good too. There are no energy limitations in Rewind. Though we repeat, no energy system. I know that part gonna make y'all happy as well, man. Alright? no en A mode with no energy requirement. That's good, bro. That is really good. I like that. Okay, so what do you get for playing Rewind and what cards do you use? Okay, let's see. Three new tiers are coming at CU7 launch. Expected. With the foundation rosters including five of the best players from each NBA team, those are the five cards you'll play with and against. In Rewind, regardless of whether you own them, Rewind is mostly separate from my team. Okay. All 150 of the new foundation cards are Rewind cards, marked by the logo in their top right corner. And 30 of them are also Captain cards, marked by the C in the bottom left. Captains are, in our opinion, the biggest star on each team. There are 10 in each tier. These cards, along with new play cards, are what you ultimately chase in Rewind. More on play cards in a bit. Completing top plays and, and replays earns you Rewind points, which are tracked on global leaderboards. Oh snap. That gives rewards and reset roughly every two weeks. The top bracket rewards two specific rewind cards and one random captain from any of the three tiers. So, um, okay. Okay. So this part, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. This part's cool right here. This part's cool. So here goes a look of the three new tiers. All right. We got, we got Devin. Okay. Okay. So, I've already seen the name of the three new tiers already. So, Devin Booker and Stephen Curry, I think they're the lowest. Yeah, they are the, They should be the lowest tier, which is called Agate. I hope I pronounce these names right. Um, and you see the Stephen Curry has a C, which obviously means he's the captain. And then Anthony Davis and Kevin Durant, all right. They're the green color. I think this one is the Malachite, all right. So, yeah. And then Andrew Wiggins and LeBron James. You already know. They should be the highest tier, which is called Moonstone. All right. 
So yeah, you see the LeBron, Kevin Durant, LeBron. They had they also have the C on their card because obviously they're the captain. And man, look at look look at look at this. Look at this man. The power the power of these foundations are one million. Man, the theme cards are about to be crazy. Alright. And alright. And y'all, ooh, let me tell y'all the power requirements for these. Alright, so agate is the lowest tier. Oh no. Um, I think I'll get to power requirement for when the game, for, for when I talk about, for whenever I go over the foundation cards, like all of them, I'll talk about the power requirement, okay? So, yeah. So, it says captain cards can be acquired in a couple other places too. Courtside pass track and the top leaderboard bracket in many events. The other 120 rewind cards will drop in all of the normal spots foundation cards do. Draft boards, mini events, the three new tourneys, daily login, head-to-head -head packs. Some will be craftable and set rewards. Yep, as usual. I actually hope LeBron is, um... I actually hope Braun is craftable because, you know, I may craft that card and then maybe, like, keep in my collection or something, you know? So, yeah. Collecting a player's rewind card is part of what unlocks the ability to earn their play cards. This is a new card type that can give power and attribute boost to all of a player's cards in all game modes, beyond just rewind. Similar to mentors and gear, play cards are earned via top plays that involve that specific player. There are 10 possible play cards for each player. One for each attribute, like post scoring and rebounding. And the ones that become available will, will, will depend on what happens in real life. Like, for example, if a top play involves Steph Curry hitting three pointers, the play card available will boost his three point shot attribute. Makes sense. Play cards have the same rarities as gear, but with champion as an extra progress point beyond legendary. A play card starts as common, and then collecting more copies of it allows for leveling up to higher rarities. You need 10 total copies to upgrade to uncommon, and 200 for champion. You'll see a progress bar on the card that shows how many you need for the next rarity. One copy can be collected per top play. Okay, so basically copies of cards in this rewind mode is basically is a is basically needed all right all right there goes my boy spider mitchell with that three-point shot attribute upgrade cool play cards get better as you level them up they boost the attribute by one pip at rare and epic rarities by two pips at legendary and champion power boost starts at five percent and culminate with 20 percent at champion rarity once a play card is at champion, each additional copy you earn will reward five coins. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Reading through this so far, learned about the rewind mode. I think this is definitely a mode y'all. I'm definitely gonna be playing a lot, especially with no energy requirement. I'm not gonna be surprised that a lot of y'all gonna be spending most of y'all's time playing this mode, man. So yeah, when you have a player in your lineup anywhere across the game, their highest rarity play card that that you own will automatically slot into the card and give the power card give the power and attribute boost it will apply for all of that player's cards across each of your my team lineups oh snap oh that part sounds really cool oh snap okay you need to own the player's rewind card to qualify for earning a play card via top plays another requirement is owning the corresponding style card an additional new card type style style cards are team based rather than player specific and earned by playing the replays portion of rewind there are four different types of style cards for every nba team each covers two or three attributes all right uh do i do i even need to read this part Nah, I don't need to read this part. You already know about this part already. Yeah, shooting's gonna obviously cover shoot off dribble mid range, three point shot. Athleticism obviously does a duty. Yeah, I don't need to cover that part. The style card you earn from a replay will fall into one of these categories based on the player focus objective. 
An objective involving steals will fall into physicality, and one involving three-pointers will fall into shooting, for example. Then the attributes other than that style's card umbrella will determine whether it matches a play card that becomes available. To have a chance... At winning a Steph Curry play card that boosts his three-point shot, you'll first need to complete a replay involving a Warriors player making shots. So basically that means if you want players, um, players, so basically if that means if you want a player's play card, you basically have to complete objective using a teammate of that player. So like for Steph Curry, you could use a Warrior teammate. For LeBron, you'll have to use a Lakers player. Oh yeah. Won't, won't necessarily have to be Curry, and won't necessarily have to be three-pointers since many objectives will fall under the shooting umbrella. Makes sense. Leveling up style cards works just like play cards. You need to collect a certain number of copies to reach each rarity. 12 copies will get a style card to uncommon, and 90 is the number for champion. Once a style card is at champion, each additional... Each additional copy you earn will reward you four coins. Okay, so we get some coins for some additional copies that we don't need. Not really a lot of coins, though, but it's okay. Every, every, every amount counts, right? Collecting style cards via replays is dependent on owning the rewind cards for that NBA team. Specifically, you need to own at least three of the five cards. Owning three allows for one copy of a style card... Owning four allows for two copies, and owning all five allows for a chance to get three copies. A max of three copies of a style card can be earned per replay, and you must complete both objectives within the replay to get one. The team, base objective, and the player focus one. Okay. Okay. Replay rewards. So draft picks you can get. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, man, we only got a few more left. I didn't realize I was... Might as well finish it up reading it. To sum it up, play replays give style cards, which are required for getting play cards from top plays. And play cards benefit you across the game beyond rewind. Owning style cards and play cards also gives extra rewind points for completing and even just attempting. Relevant top plays and replays. Think of it like Rewind's version of style bonus. That is what it's like. This applies for the Rewind cards themselves too. The more cards from a lineup you own and the, reg and the higher rarity your style and play cards are. The more bonus points you earn, these points will be reflected in the lineup bonus after games. Okay. Plus, you can train and upgrade Rewind cards in your collection just like other cards. Okay, after doing that, the cards you play within Rewind are automatically those trained up versions. The opponent's power is the same regardless of yours, so you'll have a better chance to dominate in the mode by collecting and leveling up Rewind cards. Score 5 points. You'll also notice each top play and replay is labeled with best points and max points. They can be played as many times as you like, and you can go back to previous dates to play their top plays and replays too. Playing on dates that aren't part of the current leaderboard cycle can still earn can still earn you top can still earn you play cards and style cards. Sorry about that. Plus team cards, which we'll get into shortly. But the rewind points you get will not result in any leaderboard rewards or impact the current one. They will only count towards the 2024-25 seasonal leaderboard, which is purely for bragging rights. That will not give that one will not give rewards. Okay. When redoing replays or top plays. The rewind points you collect will be the difference between your score and your best score. Only the points above your previous high score are rewarded. You can increase your max possible score for replays and top plays by gathering the relevant rewind cards, play cards, and style cards. 
A third new card type coming with Rewind is Team Cards. You automatically get the team card for an NBA franchise by attempting a top play or a replay for that team. Okay. Okay. So a team card. So. Okay, so 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 that means let's say if I win a top play, all right, and I get a team card. So let's say if it's like um, okay, okay. Let's say if I use. Maybe, uh, let's say if I use KD, okay, let's say if I use Kevin Durant, for example, okay, okay, let's say if I use Kevin Durant, all right, and I try to do a top play with him, and I win the top play, okay, I could probably get, oh, okay, 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 all right. Let's keep it going. Um, you can collect one copy of a team card per replay and top play. Fifteen copies will upgrade from common to uncommon, culminating with champion rarity at 125 copies. Once a team card is at champion, each additional copy you earn will reward three coins. Okay? Here it is right here. 20, 20, 20 of them is uncommon. 20 of them is uncommon. 30 is epic. And, and, wait, how much did they say was, uh, and I did say champion is at 125 copies. Oh, snap. It's going to be tough. More rewind notes. The mode will refresh with new challenges every day at 11 a.m. Pacific, Pacific time. Okay. During top plays with player locked gameplay. Press the pass button to call for the ball when you don't have it. You can also press the pick button to have a teammate set you a screen for you even when you don't have the ball. Oh, we know that. And utilize the all new lob button to call for an alley oop. S supply the hold. Supply. No. Simply hold the lob button while running towards the basket to attempt the, the alley oop. W2K. This is a W that you add the law button, man. That's really cool. Top Plays has a new camera view for player locked gameplay. You can still use one of the normal camera views during the player locked objectives if you like. Just switch it in the pause menu. We already know how to do that. Attribute pip boosts now show up in green. Boosts from mentors, gears, and play cards all appear in the same color. Okay. Hasn't it always been green? Hasn't it always been green or am I tripping? Anyways, for top plays that involve multiple players or are team based, the player card you need to own to earn a play card is whoever is pictured. In replays, you can only play one game at a time. You can exit between quarters and go play top plays or other modes, but starting a different replay will reset your progress in the one you were playing. When viewing a top play or replay and eligible to earn a style card, play card or team card, you'll see the generic logo for the card type flashing. Next to text that says 0 out of 1 or 0 out of 3, you'll see this immediately for team cards. If it's not flashing, you don't currently meet the requirement to earn it. Makes sense. The my the my cards page now includes a filter for rewind cards at the top. That sounds cool. It also has a new tab for play cards and an, and another that includes both style cards and team cards. In the latter, whether something is highlighted or not is what signif signif bro. What's going on with me? Signif signifies. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with me right now. If you own it, similar to the catalog. Okay, that's all for now. With the NBA season starting this week, you can probably guess when Season 7 and Rewind are set to arrive. Get ready to own the court and rewrite history. Wow, y'all. I really read this whole thing. But you know what, y'all? I basically read this whole thing and break it down just so that so we can understand the Rewind mode, okay? What I can tell y'all is about this Rewind mode is this mode look like y'all is about to be a fire mode. Okay, it's going to be a great one, but it's definitely going to be hard for you to upgrade these player cards up to the rarities. Now, that's the part where you're going to have to really grind on. I'm not going to lie. 
But, uh, whoops, I, I did not mean to press that. All right. What else to talk about? There was something else y'all I want to talk about. Okay, so we also have this. Some player likeness updates are coming at Season 7 launch. Include Wemby and Brunson. So here they are. Okay, Wemby looks... Okay, I'm glad 2K made this change of Wemby. Because right now, I think 2K still has Wemby with an afro. Now, I know that in the beginning of Wemby's career, I know he had an afro. But he obviously does not have that anymore. So yeah, I like this. I hope 2K, you do this for other players, okay? So, yeah. First look at CU7 gameplay. We're adding new animation for star players. Include some custom ones for specific players. Okay, let's check this out. So, there goes Zion. There goes... <laughs> My goat. There goes Curry. Nice little layup there. The Rosen with that nice layup. Ant-Man. Boom. That's a nice dunk right there. Luka. Yeah, that's nice. There goes Dane. Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, 2K, as exciting that is 2K, um, 2K, I'm not gonna get excited about no gameplay type 2K unless you're te I'm not gonna get excited about this 2K unless you're telling me y'all gonna do something about these servers. After seeing this, that's all I could have said. When are y'all fixing the servers? Y'all need to fo y'all need to put y'all's focus into fixing servers. We don't care for no new animations, bro. Fix the servers. The animations are not gonna be fun with the game lagging throughout the time, man. With the match lagging, the doing those animations are not gonna be fun, bro. They're not gonna be. Alright? But they look cool, but the servers gotta be fixed, okay? They gotta be fixed. Alright, so what else? Was there anything else here? Uh Uh, okay, we talked about the rewind. Oh, yep. Here goes them um, um, telling us about a new theme. I'm not gonna break down none of the new themes yet. I I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm I'm wait until season seven, y'all, before we talk about the new theme. So they posted this one today. It says it's launch week. We've got key details about the transition to season seven. Items that carry over, sets and tourneys from low tiers being removed, sneak peek at new main menu, and update to random collectible random collectible drops and tourneys. Okay, so let's read this. Alright, so it says, folks, prepare for liftoff. It's officially launch week. <clears throat> Stay tuned to our social channels for the announcement of when we'll go into maintenance to launch for season seven speaking of that did you catch our rewind blog we just went over it this new mode headline season seven challenging you to play the latest nba action like never before check the link for full details we went over it the the season seven app update also features new gameplay animations likeness updates new new players you'll see in themes right away and in the future both retired stars and current players. All right, all right. Will, will I have one question? Um, will we see? Um, are we gonna see Connect Four and Bronny James into the game? I know they're they are they they they, they are new stars. I I think we'll maybe see them in like I think we'll maybe see them in like um probably like the rookie team when they drop it this year. Okay, anyways, and much more. Three new tiers are going live on launch day. So here goes the name, y'all, of the new tiers. Agate, Malachi, and Moonstone. Now, like I told you, not like now like how we went over it, y'all, in the rewind block. Get Agate tier is the one with the curry and the Devin Booker. That's the Agate one. And let me talk about the power requirement, y'all. The power requirement is 600,000 for Agate. Makes sense. The lowest tier. Now, Malachite, that was the one we saw with AD and Kevin Durant. That green one. Basically, these three tiers basically look like Topaz, Jade, and Pearl tier. Basically, re re remake of it. Okay? But, yeah, Malachite, the power requirement for it is 800k. Alright, 800k. 
That is the power requirement from Malachite. And now Moonstone. Moonstone is the highest tier. That's the one we saw with Andrew Wiggins and LeBron James. Have you seen that their, their, their base, their foundations one was 1 million? That's right, y'all. The power requirement for Moonstone is 1 million power. When I saw that, I went crazy. Because I was like, 2K, what the hell are y'all thinking? I don't think 1 million power is even possible right now in NBA 2K Mobile Series 6. I think the highest power I've seen in NBA 2K Mobile um, players are, I think it's like 970 something K. I think that's like the highest power I've seen. 1 million power is not even possible in 2K Mobile right now. Even if, if he was to have like all the antimatter cards maxed out with antimatter mentors. 2K, y'all were crazy. I honestly thought the power requirement. The the the, the high, I I thought the power requirement was gonna be maybe like eight hundred um maybe like eight hundred k nine hundred k that's what I was thinking but the power requirement is but when they made it one million y'all were crazy for that two k okay but nonetheless um yeah so they said along with their respective foundation attorneys we and and obviously y'all when the season drops i will have videos dropping of me completing all three of those tier attorneys we've also got a new soundtrack and a complete visual redesign of the game for season seven they did the same thing for for season six so i guess this part don't surprise me as rewind takes center stage the main menu has a whole new look Attorneys, crews, drills, and head-to-head -head will now be assessed via the game modes button on the right side of your screen. Buttons, buttons in the bottom, bottom right panel, like my team and my cards, shift to a column on the left. The stat line sits atop that column. Get a sneak peek of the main menu below. Okay. Okay. Um... A notable change in my cards and the catalog. The search bar for finding a player by name has now moved into the filters section via the top right corner. Making room for filters for rewind cards and more. So here goes the main menu for CU7. Now, we all know how the main menu for CU6 looks like currently. Here goes it for CU7. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. Okay, it looks pretty cool. All right, there goes the replace part. Um, the, that, the, that, that, there goes the power cap event right there. That's where the events are going to be. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. All of your cards will carry over to CS7. When we make the transition with server downtime, other items like coins, gear, mentors, keys, collectibles, rings, pump ups, and energies, Energy also carry over, and so will everything in cruise. The October courts that pass will also maintain progress. Makes sense. We're, we're not at the end of October yet, so makes sense. So for people who do not have the antimatter Joel and Bead, still have time. Important, make sure to claim head to head packs and items in the mailbox tab. Make sure to claim head to head packs and items in the mailbox tab of the stat line before the transition. Items will items left unclaimed will not carry over to season seven. Ah, that's sad. That is sad, y'all. That's sad because I know that for people who's gonna want the the new foundation cards right away. Originally the tip I would say you could do is to play head to head, save those packs, but they're not gonna be there no more if you do that. So unfortunately we can't do that. That's sad. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. That's sad. Okay. It's okay, though. Okay. You will maintain progress in tourneys. Though the cobalt tourneys and below will no longer be available. Oh, snap. Cobalt tourney is going to be... So, so that means Zircon, Cobalt, both of those are gone. Oh, snap. Hey, can we all remember that those were the tiers to begin Season 6? Was Zircon, Cobalt, and Garnet? Can't. We can't forget that, can't we? Nah, I don't think we forgot. Okay. We're raising the floor to Garnet as the lowest tier. Huh. The Gar hey, Garnet was the highest tier to start off this season, so it's going to be the lowest tier to start off the next season. Wow. Okay. 
We're raising the floor to garner as the lowest tier you can pull via draft boards and other rewards across the game. Okay, not bad. Garnet's, Garnet cards are still good, and they're going to be good as mentors too, so yeah. Besides pump-ups, no card or item below Garnet can be pulled in Season 7. We're also removing some sets from the game. They did it for when they were dropping Season 6, so it makes sense. Foundation sets, Topaz through Cobalt. Ooh. Topaz to Cobalt, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. And theme sets with Purple Sapphire or below as the reward. Okay, so that means, um... Yeah, same pattern. Yeah, I was just about to say the Rainmaker set is going to be gone then. And I believe the player in the Rainmaker set is Paul George. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be gone. I mean it I mean it doesn't really matter. This it doesn't really matter because those the, the, those players are gonna get better cards in the future and Paul George does have a way better card, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. More mis more mis mis sellous things to know about season seven. We're continuing the format with seven progression rewards in events that we've run in recent weeks. Let's go. Let's go. That part is a W. Let's go. I was saying that, that 2K should keep those seven progression rewards because the extra 150 coins and the epic gear is really, really good. I like it, 2K. W for that part, man. W for that part. All right. That's really good. I, I, this is really good for the free to play people like myself. So, W. Themes now have more cards available in the top tier. Ooh. Okay, um, how much, how much, how much, how much theme cards, so how much, how much, how much theme cards the top tier cards used to have? I think it used to be four theme cards, right? Right? Uh, yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah, usually in the themes, usually the top tier would usually have like, I think four theme cards, right? Yeah, two of them being event rewards, and I think the other two being like pack exclusive cards, so, ooh. I wonder how much more. How much more are we talking here, 2K? I guess we're going to find out one out in Season 7. The Craftable Moonstone card and the set reward in each theme will not be event card. Oh! What? The Craftable Moonstone card and the set reward in each theme will not be event cards. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. If you guys don't know. That's how I, guys, would usually know the event rewards. If you guys have been playing 2K Mobile as long as I have, you guys would know usually it's the craftable highest tier theme card or the theme card. It's usually the highest craftable theme card and the theme card that's in the sets. Those are usually the two cards that are usually event rewards, but they won't be event rewards no more. Bravo, 2K. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. A lot of people would complain and said it should be the cards that are not possible to get for free. That should be event rewards, which I absolutely agree. But this is good. The craftable cards are not event rewards, and a sets one isn't either. This is good. All right. This is this is good. This is good. I'm not gonna lie, 2K. Y'all got me pretty hyped for season seven. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is good. This is really good. I like this. I like this. All right. I like this. This is really good. This is really good. All right. Random collectible rewards in tourneys will now have a chance at the first two Season 7 themes. Halloween and Fall. Okay, so those are our two themes. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go over those themes, guys. Not until when the game drops. Okay. So, yeah. Plus Season 6 themes. Plus Season 6 themes with Rose Courts or higher as its top tier. Okay, so... But this so so definitely themes like playoff theme, jam master themes. Um, I'm trying to remember all the ro the, the, yeah those are two rose chords themes right there. Um, yeah okay that's good that's good that's good. I I don't mind getting some collectibles for season six so yeah. The pool will be expanded to include more season seven theme collectibles as the season progresses. Good that is good two K because yum. I, I don't mind I don't mind completing the objective for the tourney, right? Where you can get random collectibles. I just don't mind doing it, but 
Ugh, I don't know, man. It's underwhelming to doing it. Keep an eye on our social channels for updates. Okay, daily streaks will be starting up again every week. Okay, and obviously 2K Mobile's website. I don't think there's no daily streak right now because we're still in season six. So yeah, keep an eye on our social for more announcement and we'll see you on the court for season seven. Well guys, I must say, let me say this guys. Season seven is sounding really, really good. Now, have they made any changes to the game that we want? Like to fix the servers and they increase the card limit? No. But this new season is still sounding really good. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay? So, yeah, man. This, se this new season is sounding really, really fire, guys. And I'm liking it. I'm loving it. All right? So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it for me going through everything. So, I... Hmm. So, hold up, guys. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Uh, wait, how do I, how do I come out of this? Okay, I figured he was going to do that. Figured he was going to do that. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to go over the theme, guys, but I'm not. Let's just go right here, right here. Let's just go right here. So, guys, this part is really interesting right here, right? I, again, I'm not going to go over the, the events, guys, nor the event rewards yet, guys. Not until when we're in the new season, okay? So, yeah. So, this part right here is really interesting, guys. Because it says Power Cap starts on launch day. No mini event this week. Makes sense. Then we'll resume standard event schedule the following week. The reason why I read this, guys, is because I think 2K is telling us, guys, that the game, that, that NBA 2K MOC 7 will arrive on Thursday. And... Power Cap starts on launch day. So basically, they're going to drop NBA 2K Mobile Season 7 on, on Thursday at 1 p.m. Basically, the start of the event. That is... I mean, do I like that? Personally, no. I'm not really a big fan of them starting it at that time. Because, like, okay... I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think I'm a big fan of, the, of them doing it like that right here. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? It is what it is for them doing it like that. So, yeah. So, I think that basically means, guys, we're getting NBA 2K Mobile Season 7 this Thursday. I think that's what it basically means. All right? So, yeah. So, if I had to make a prediction, guys, on when I think the game is going to... um. On, on when I think the game's gonna go to maintenance. Uh, wait, why can't I open the game? Okay. So you guys could see. I, I, I went in 2K Mobile right now because you guys can see. On the King of the Core event, it shows one day and 15 hours. Alright? Hear me out on this, guys. Now, originally, today is Monday. Usually, events ends today, Monday. All right? I think 2K has extended the King of the Court because, well, obviously, one day, 15 hours. I think this means, guys, that King of the Court is ending on Wednesday. All right? Wednesday morning. Okay? So, I think, guys, that NBA 2K Mobile Season 6, I think they're going to make the servers be down. They're going to put the game on maintenance. I'm going to say... At early Thursday morning. Yeah, I think it's going to be early Thursday morning, guys. They're going to put the game on maintenance. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I think. Because I don't think they're going to do it on Wednesday. Because, well, they could honestly do it on Wednesday in, like, the afternoon or Wednesday in the morning. But I think, I mean, I mean, we'll never know. I mean, you know what? Uh, man... If I can remember correctly, right? If I can remember correctly, when they were releasing Season 6, I remember them putting the game on the maintenance. I think it was in the morning, right? So, I think, guys, it's going to be Thursday morning. They put the game on maintenance. And, and, and then, when the Power Cap event starts, we can expect the new season of the game to be dropped. Alright? So, yeah.
So that's basically it, guys, for me breaking out everything from Bit 2 Camo C7. I know this video is a long one. I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. Let me know what y'all think about everything that's dropping in Bit 2 Camo C7. They definitely got me excited. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm going to end it off right here. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and everything. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and end it off. I will see you all in the next one. Your boy is out.